Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Cap, you did a good job yesterday, man. Hey, look, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. Other than that, one time for the money, two time for the show, and y'all know who else we up three times for. Jim Stars! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out if you like the video. Like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And we're going to get right into the news, man. The news, um, we got a lot to talk about, a little bit of time to talk about it in. We're going to try to not make this another 24-minute video. We're going to try to get it around 12 to 15 minutes max. But before we get that started, y'all let me know. If you got Disney, Disney Plus yesterday and you was hooked yesterday, let me put that Disney Plus down in the comments, man. But look, before we get in, go any further, I need y'all to comment down below two of the most beautiful women's I done never seen. Like I said, we're going to try to stay away from the harlots this week. But, uh... I need to know, Maya or Shade Adu? Maya or Shade Adu? That's all I'm telling. Hey, look, man, it ain't really a fair matchup because hey, if you if, if if you got both, just say both down in the comments, man. But Maya or Shade Adu? Now look, there's a probably about 20 years in difference between the both of them. I think Shade is like like almost 60, man. Uh, let's see how let's see how old she is right now. We gonna get that going, but you know, uh, let, let's just see how old she is right now. She she gotta be almost six. She is sixty years old. Let's see how old Maya is. Maya gotta be like Maya gotta be uh maybe thirty five, maybe something like that. Maya's forty, so that's literally exactly twenty years between these two. Damn that boy good, but look here, Maya or Shade I do. Maya. Or Shade I do. Boy, that black don't crack, boy, I'm telling you. And Maya vegan just like your boy, so you know, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Hey, when you go vegan, man, you can't go wrong. But anyway, we're going to get right into the news, man. We spent long enough on that. Hey, if you can't if you can't make a decision, you got to go with both. You let them know. Go, you let them go with both. Check it out, man. Let me let me ask y'all something. Have y'all been seeing that boy Trey Young hooping? That boy, Trey Young, has been hooping. They defeated the Nuggets last night, man. I, I watched that game, bro. Bro, Trey Young is playing on a different level, man. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like, this is not part of none of the stories or none of that stuff. But I just wanted to throw that out there because that guy is is taking it to another level. We don't got John Collins and all this stuff, so it's real different. If y'all want me to do some, like, some NBA talks, analysis, and stuff like that, y'all let me know. Um, y'all let me know that. I'll start trying to do that in the evening or something like that because I, I don't know what y'all really want man i just really need to know what it is that y'all want me to do and hey look and your boy parker jabari parker been hooping and i'm like dang man it's too bad that we got jabari parker like when we got a trade trey had 42 points and 11 assists i'm like dang it sucks that we got jabari parker when we got him because he oh he's 24. Bro, but it's a contract year, so you know, I mean, I don't know, man. But anyway, that ain't what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is the regular news, man. Check it out. Yesterday, NBA 2K20 dropped patch, uh, drop patch 8. It messed up a lot of people's jump shots. Uh, okay, so let's let's talk about the regular stuff first. The demigods are gone, all right? Demigods gone. They are no more. Um, a lot of people putting out fake glitch videos. I've gone through, vetted these videos. Every one of them fake. Um, this, this, this one guy... Um, What's his name? Uh, if you just go in there and type in uh, NBA 2K, 2K20, you know what? No, I'm just going to do it live on stream. NBA 2K20 uh, glitch instant badge. You know what I'm saying? Like, what we going to do, we're just going to expose it right here on stream, man. Look, it's like an instant It's like an instant badge glitch. And, uh, you know, like I said, like, like, this is the one that came out yesterday, 18 hours ago. Uh, your boy Brutal Sim, you know, Brute was talking about stuff, man, and he was saying that, uh, you know, it's 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 our fault for watching these videos. A lot of times I go through these videos and vet these videos and do all this stuff. What he's saying is, what this guy's saying is, you got to go through. I'm going to move my camera real quick, right? Um, Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Uh, main cam, boom. What he's saying is you got to come in, put the guy on the same team. This is the same trick that everybody that everybody's been talking about. You see that choose jump shot right here? He's saying you got to go in, do some other stuff, save the thing with the camera, go here, risk risk deleting your player by going here and deleting everything, and then 
and then come back, sync the data, blah, 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 yaggedy smackity, boom. You don't even have to go any further. What he did right here, look, look, right here, look, you, you probably didn't even notice it. It was so subtle and so quick, but he, he, he says he loaded up the same player and you go here, but let me show you this though. You probably didn't even see it. Like he, he clicked on progression, clicked on badges. It didn't even animate the way that it's supposed to animate, but the fact that it didn't animate, that's, 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 that's inconsequential is beside the point. The whole thing is this. In your badge creation screen, you do not have a jump shot. You don't have a test of jump shot thing, right? So you, we already know this is a fake glitch, all right? So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I, I ain't trying to progress. Nobody trying to get no money, but that's a fake glitch. Don't even waste your time. Don't go to it. Don't even look at it. I mean, we got we to gotta expose the truth, man. I don't want nobody to go to that glitch thinking that, hey, I can get my badges instantly. You mess around and delete your player. The 2K asks you why, why your player got deleted. It's going to take you two or three weeks to get it back. Hey, stay away from glitches, man. Leave them joints alone. Like, I mean, well, do them at your own discretion, at your own risk. But the demigod glitch is gone. But if you already glitched out your guys, um, the like, let's say if you made the league be 5-4, and uh, with no badges, the league is still 5-4 with no badges. So the actual league on your on your console, the NBA rosters in your my career, that's stuck. But your my career, your but your player, you can't do anything to your player. You can't augment your player. You can't do you can't do those changes anymore. But if you've already done it, those changes stuck. It seems like they couldn't get rid of that. But the demigod glitch is gone. Animation glitch is gone. Um, and it seems like in them trying to fix the animation glitch they 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 messed up the jump shots because they fixed the animation glitch so an uh, animation that you cannot buy you can't equip it and it's just going to default to something else if you can't buy that animation that's fine the problem is, or that you don't have i guess if you don't have it if you can't buy it you don't have it but what they did was when they did that they they, they, they messed up the jump shots so if you don't own the components I, I was watching brutal sim video this morning and like i said we we got some of the same fans but not everybody that sees his video is gonna see mine not everybody that sees mine is gonna see his so we have to put the same information out sometimes so the way that you fix your jump shot is pretty much let's say you're using like i'm using jump shot 98 release 134 and release um 114 i mean 14 and 134 134 is not in the store but i did go buy 98 and uh jump shot 14 and i bought both of those because i own those now my jump shot is staying equipped so if you don't own the components to your jump shot then your jump shot will not stay equipped but the problem is not every jump shot is in the store so that's that's gonna be kind of rough for some people like just buy all the components that you can that's what you have to do buy everything that you can and then then you don't even have to delete your jump shot or anything like that go in just go to the store buy everything that you can and then uh that, that, that pertains to your jump shot equip your jump shot and then after that, you should be good. I, I left the game, came back, left the game, came back, left the game, came back. It stuck, uh, unlike the shot meter under my feet or not being on at all, even though I turned it on in the main settings. But hey, that's a whole nother story. It is what it is. So animation glitch patch, demigod glitch patch, all that stuff, but something else broke by that, but it's an easy fix. This is the thing though, 2K, we're tired of fixing the game. We're tired of having to come and tell people how to fix the game. Like I said, maybe we weren't such good engineers. Maybe we weren't such good people that would learn how to fix the game or just figure out stuff. Maybe we, maybe the game would be even more broken and, and y'all would have a class action lawsuit against y'all because it's not working. You can't have something where every time you fix something, it breaks something else. But I think that's fair. If you want to equip parts of a jump shot, then you got to buy the jump shot. It, should, it probably should have always been that way because we have always, but but the thing is, we've always used the jump shot creator as a way to get free jump shots. Don't lie. Come on, tell me down in the comments. You damn right. I'm going to get my jump shot. I ain't going to buy no bunch, bunch of jump shots. I'm just going to get the jump shot creator and I, ain't gonna, I never got to buy another jump shot again. I, I think I actually put a video out about that in, in uh, 17, but... Now you just gotta own the components to your jump shot. They're not expensive. It's like, what, like 200, 200 VC or something like that. They're not expensive. So it is what it is. Buy those components and then you can equip your jump shot and you're good to go. Uh, also, uh, I ain't gonna lie to y'all though. If you don't do this, you're gonna be stuck with jump shot 70. Hey, am I capping or not? How many of y'all went 
and tried to play a game after the patch and you were stuck with jump shot 70. You was like, bro, what the hell is this? This ain't my jump shot. But that bitch cash though. I say, but that bitch cash though. Hey, that jump shot 70 cash though. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. I almost changed to it, but it's just a little bit too slow. Even with Hall of Fame. <laughs> hey, even with Hall of Fame quick draw, it's just a little bit too slow. I might put together a jump. If y'all want to see a jump shot, me concoct some with jump shot 70, y'all let me know. But I just want to know how many of y'all was like, damn, man, this ain't my jump shot. But that bitch cash though. <laughs> I definitely did that. But anyway, man, we, we 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 on to the next thing. The next thing is they stop boosters. Uh, boosters are being stopped. Um, my guy sent me to sent me this on Twitter, and uh, he was like, "Hey, this is something that nobody's talking about." And I gotta talk to y'all something about my boy Gideon Prime. Uh, Gideon Prime True Chases too, man. That's my guy right there. Y'all don't even know that. But anyway, check it out. Boom. We gonna check this out. The score is twenty. Check, check this go. Man, I hate this, man. I hate, I hate instant. I mean, I hate these videos, man. When you do this, you gotta click on the video and then you gotta click on the actual thing and then, then you can blow it up. But anyway, check it out. He's saying, just let him have that. Boom, 24-25. Game over, my guy. Yeah, that's what we saying. They won by one. Normally you gotta win by two. You know, we, this is a strategy point. This is a major strategy point. Just let him win. 24-25. The game's now maxed out at 25, my guy. That's it. You can't go they, to stop boosting and to stop stuff like people having 500 assists in one game and stuff like that. They they have they've gone in and they have um they have they've gone in and they they've, they've, they've limited the games. And like it's crazy because I definitely I was talking about this the other day. I was saying it's crazy that people are going into the three on three pro am where you can get rep three on three private pro am. You can get ripped. You don't get penalized if you lose. And guess what? They were just getting 300 assists, 400 assists. Some people got a thousand points in there with 300, 400 assists games. Like, like it, it was crazy, man. But you know it is what it is. But that's that's how they have chosen to limit it. Um, if you're gonna boost, you're gonna boost, and they know people gonna boost. But you know, it is what it is. So now, how they gonna tell people if people are boosting? Because you know, you know, the only time they were really telling the people were boosting if they were just going OD in the courts just going OD, OD with the scores and stuff. But, and, and probably seeing if you're playing the same people over and over too, I guess. But I mean, that could just be come around, but you're not gonna play the same people 30 times. I mean, I guess that would be something like that. It is what it is, man. We don't know how they're doing that or what algorithm they're using, but this is one of the, clearly one of the components because you can't go beyond 25. So just be warned, if a game is pushing, 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 it's either first to 21, and then you got overtime. You got a four point overtime. It's first to 25. So if, it, if it's tied up, if you can't get there, you got to get to 25 first. So it is what it is. Just be warned that that's how they've, that, that's the, that's how they've chosen to deal with the booster because there's really not anything else you could do, right? Like you could be playing. I get coming around that just play me 30 times in a row. Sometimes that happens. Um, stuff like that. But, and in private matchmaking, maybe you would be, you like, if you're playing against a team, Maybe y'all having a 90 game a 90 game series or something. We don't know people used to do stupid stuff like that back in the day We playing the 110 or some on regular back at basketball courts and stuff like that. That's cool, but you know uh, This right here this what do y'all think they could have figured out a way, better way to do boosting or just The 2k Okay, so look the 2k way of dealing with things like this has always been just limiting you in in NBA 2k 15 we had the demigod glitch how did they limit it the next year? They limited the points. So you couldn't get all the points on every player. It just is what it is. Like that's how they've always done it. People still broke the game in 16. So they came with the archetype system in 17. So you couldn't go outside your archetype. We still circumvented it and broke it. So in 18, you got dual archetypes, but it was even more restrictive. And then 19, it was more restrictive, but then we got, I mean, but you, you still had, you still had, um, uh, stretch fours, they could stretch four, stretch five, could do whatever they wanted to. And then in this game, this is probably the most restrictive game, but people to find out the demigod glitch in this side. But see, that's how 2K always does it. They're like, well, you guys can't be trusted to your own devices, so we will limit it for you. And when we limit it for you, then it's gonna be super restrictive and you're not gonna like it. So maybe we as a community just need to try to do the right thing. But anyway, last but not least, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Ticino and Z. Ticino put out a very informative video about him and Z, and the basis of the video was this. Ticino was like, 
I'm a grinder. I'm grinding. I grind hard like Lido and Don Tripp. God speak. But Z may have been in a different position to where he didn't have to grind hard. Ticino said his motivation for grinding hard was to help his mom out. Like a lot of us. You see your mom struggling. She got a couple kids. She got three jobs and stuff like that. I got to go get it. Like uh, like, like uh, Don Tripp said, my mama was... My mom was struggling. I hit my block like a tailback. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what most people going to do. They're going to do that. But Z may have been in a position where he didn't have to grind hard. So he didn't have that same motivation. And uh, so, and, he, and Ticino was like, okay, that's fine. But what it came down to was he and Ticino were playing. Ticino says he's evolved beyond playing and worrying about one win or one loss here and there. And Z had become somewhat of a celebrity. He's like, he got 11 videos. He got 20,000 followers. I mean, 20,000 subs. You know, Ticino feels like a lot of this stuff, a lot of the success that Z is enjoying is because of him and because he's putting light on Z. And uh, Z disrespected him in one game. He was like, they took one loss and it wasn't even, it was just a regular loss. And Z was like, yeah, I'm about to go play with Saint. I'm out. I'm not going to play with you. Like, And that's like the ultimate slap in the face. Like, bro, you ain't, even though, even though, Nobody would know who I am if it weren't for you. Guess what? I'm about to go play with somebody else because you ain't good enough now. You just a YouTuber. You just play the game. I play to win. Like, you know, that's how he felt. He felt disrespected. And so he said he canceled his ticket and played with Chico. And that's the end of that story right there. He said he still loves Z. He still rock with Z. He still want him. But he wants Z to grind and get that whole thing. But he just felt disrespected when you like, wait a minute, man. We about to go play the world in a week? And because we took one loss, you about to go play with, with Saint? Now imagine if we would have took that loss during the little tournament. What would have happened then? Like, because, you know, you damn sure going to lose. But it is what it is, man. I don't know, man. It's hard to decipher. Hard to look through. I'm pretty sure y'all seen, y'all all seen the video. Um, uh, you know, y'all, y'all, you know, when, when y'all know y'all seen the video and stuff, man. So it is what it is. But I just feel like, uh, I just feel like, you have to, I just feel like you got to, uh, I don't know, man. There's nothing that none of my friends could say to me really outside of saying something bad about one of my, somebody in my family that's going to break us up. And even then we can probably get past it if it was said in the moment or it was just said in the heat of battle. Some people believe that people speak their mind when they pissed. I believe that people just say whatever's going to hurt you when they pissed off or whatever they think is going to hurt you. Because, I mean, come on, man. Some of the stuff you done said to your wife or your girl or your kids or whatever when they done made you mad, you don't mean that stuff, man. But but then we love to say, well, no, that's what you wanted to say. When it's not us, we want to say that's what you wanted to say. But when it is us, we want to say, I ain't mean that, man. Come on, man. You know what time it is. So I, I try to be, a, I, I got a forgiving spirit. I try to, like, I know you ain't mean that stuff. Like somebody say something to me, bro, I know you ain't mean that. You just, you just was talking. It is what it is. That happens sometimes. But I just don't know how I would have dealt with that because it does get, that does get irritating. You playing with somebody, y'all playing, but then they, they they decide you're not good enough so they don't want to play with you. Then I can't be no bitch. I can't look like no bitch, right? Like I look like a bitch if you, you like, I'm done playing with you because you ain't good enough. But And, and I'm going to carry you in this world to the next week. Negative. I might have done the same thing, man. It is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all would have done. But y'all, I, I can understand what Tassino saying in that situation if it went down exactly like that. But he did say, you know, he still want to play with Z. He still want to rock with him. And he still want to watch. Um, He still wants to play with him. He still wants to go take on the world with him and do another world tour. He just wants them to get good. But he wants Z to go ahead and become a content creator, better content creator, get this money. And they can all, we can all get this money together. To me... It's just one of those situations where it's just like, hey, it, it, it's, it's much to do about nothing. It ain't no big deal, man. They can get past this, and uh, they can get back to winning games. But anyway, like I said, man, look, we out of here. Who y'all got? Maya, Sade, Adu, or both? If you can't, if you can't decide, man, y'all let me know, cause it's gonna be hard for me to decide. I couldn't decide either. Sade, Adu, Maya, Sade. Oh, hold on, that's the wrong thing. Uh, yeah. Hold on, let's back up. Why why is that right there? One we on shot here, do? Come on, come on, back up one more time. Back up one more time. Back that thing up. Okay, we don't got it. Okay, Maya, shot here, do. Maya, whatever, man. Anyway, I have people tweet me all morning. So sometimes, sometimes y'all y'all might see me stammering and I'm stumbling. And uh, just because somebody just sent me something, I try to add it into the show. Anyway, I gotta get about it here. Hope y'all guys enjoyed the video. And y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Maya, shot here, do. Smooth operator or best of me. And I'm out of here. Catch y'all next time. Godspeed!